what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here talking about halloween in this video here again today now halloween ends we know is expected to be the end of the iteration of david gordon green's halloween timeline connected to john carpenter's original 1978 film and we know that recently there are some comments that jason blum had made in an interview with screen rant talking about how you know this won't be the end this is just their end Malika Cod is going to then be in control of what happens next with the IP after this, I guess, according to Jason Blum. And now a rumor that I heard from Fandom Empire during a live stream that they did, and I'll leave a link to the live stream in the description, is, is a, it's basically a live stream where they went over, I guess, the big rumor right now of who is going to be getting the rights to, I guess, distribute future Halloween movies going forward. And it's not confirmed again, it's just a rumor. But apparently, you might be getting Halloween movies from Paramount Pictures. Now, just to pause really quick for those Scream fans who watch my videos. If you're if that makes you concerned about the status of the Scream series, I don't really think that's anything for people to be concerned about in the sense that let's say they do indeed get the rights to Halloween there's plenty of ips that blumhouse is is that was that blumhouse was overseen and they were cranking out quality films not all of them but they were cranking out quality films while holding on to a lot of ips so when it comes to michael shifting over to paramount and having been in the same home as ghostface i mean it's not that far out of the realm of possibility as much as i do think that maybe a lot of people thought that let's say this again happens if this is something that's actually being worked on as we speak then it might throw a wrench in how and how how much longer michael myers was actually going to be away because i was hoping we would have him gone for at least maybe five years or something like that he could only be gone for a year or two if paramount is indeed going to be getting the rights to the series to distribute it because but of course that doesn't really mean much because they of course would have to find somebody to take on their idea bring them in have them flesh out the idea and then get a movie going get it shot find a cast find all these other things that go into you know the movie making pro pro business i should say and then that's where we would be at when it relates to you know getting another michael myers movie it's going to be a lot more than just paramount having the rights paramount would have to have a movie that's ready to be dis be distributed and of course that would require finding a director who wants to take on the ip find a group of writers or a writer who wants to write a new iteration of michael myers and bring that to life and then paramount will distribute it i would imagine if again this is true the turnaround time between halloween ends and whatever's next for michael myers might only be two or three years might maybe less if paramount ends up getting the rights uh, if the rumor ends up having any weight behind it, because again, you know, with Paramount, they have a void that they have right now because, you know, they haven't had to do anything with Jason in many years, over a decade at this point, I think we're at. So, you know, they have this hole in their heart that Jason left and they they need to fill it. You know, they filled it recently with a quiet place, filled it again recently with Scream. So, you know, bringing in Michael Myers, I'm not necessarily saying that, that that's who I want to see Halloween movies through. But I wouldn't be too shocked if Paramount did indeed gain the rights to put out Michael Myers content or just Halloween movies in general. Because when it comes to Paramount... Again, their biggest thing when it relates to the big three was Jason. And then, of course, we know all that stuff going on with Jason, the legal issues. And now this, you know, the fact that we won't even get a Jason movie. It sounds like a Jason movie that fans want until Sean and Victor can come together as adults and say, you know what? Let's make some money. They want to see this type of Jason movie. I'm willing to work with you to get it done. Are you willing to work with me? Yes. No. Or, of course, for us, we would hope it'd be a universal yes. Okay, let's get it done. Let's make some money. Doesn't seem like they're going to be doing that anytime soon. So, with one of the big three out, bring in the other one. <laughs> bring in Michael Myers. And, it's of course, I've already talked about, like, the fact that I know some of you would want to see Danielle Harris's character of Jamie Lloyd revived in some capacity, either in a new timeline that's a sequel to one of the other movies she's appeared in. Or, like I've mentioned, I would like to see them maybe go away from that stuff and mostly do a updated take on michael myers have it set in a modern time 
and you know you could redo the original movie if you decide to do that maybe you can tell it from a different from a different person's perspective throw in some other new details that we didn't have introduced in rob zombies remake and shake it up a little bit more and but still be in the same vein of what that original movie was we don't have to have laurie strode or anything like that you can introduce all new characters outside of just that same basic opening where you have a young boy killing his sister taking the smith's grove for 15 years breaks out goes home finds these people in his house or something maybe like that again something similar to halloween resurrection maybe but but much better and you don't have to worry about Lori Strode or anything like that. It could just be the same general idea of what we've already know to be the truth with Michael Myers. But you don't have him hunting down anyone named Lori Strode. He's not going to be hunting down anyone named Jamie Lloyd. He's not going to be hunting down anyone that we already know about. I would probably also erase Dr. Loomis. You could still have a doctor or somebody in there. But I would shake it up a little bit. The only thing that would still remain the same in my mind and what would probably be best in terms of keeping everything fresh, the only thing that should remain the same is the fact that, of course, this is about a killer named Michael Myers who escaped Smith's Grove. He killed his sister 15 years ago. He's returned home to wreak havoc, and you can go from there. Introduce all new characters, though. Have us develop these characters, grow attached to them, and see what their struggles are like. You know, just do everything differently outside of Michael Myers and him killing his sister in 63 or whenever you want to do it in. Because, you know, the Lori Strode stuff, that's coming to an end with Halloween Ends. So I think, you know, we should take a, take as much steps away from that as we can for as long as we can. Given the fact that this is also Jamie Lee Curtis or expected to be Jamie Lee Curtis's final portrayal as a character. I don't want to see the character back in some new timeline. I would rather see Michael shake it up with new people. But if Paramount ends up getting the rights, then so be it. We'll see if this rumor ends up being true. Would you want them to get the rights or would you rather have Michael Myers go somewhere else? Would you rather Michael Myers just not come back at all whatsoever? Because I know a lot of you are at that point too. You're content with what you got and you don't want any more Michael Myers movies. But let me know what you guys think about that rumor down in the comment section below. And again, I'll leave a link to the description to the Phantom Empire live stream so you can watch it and hear where this came from. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications, you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.